Hello and welcome to another edition of Eagle's Eye here on AUTV 20. I'm your host, Lydia Bice, and today I'm sitting down with digital media journalism major, Evan Laux. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So let's dive on into the questions. So starting from the beginning, why did you choose to come to Ashland University? So I looked at a couple different schools my senior year of high school. Um, the ones I can remember, remember, Kent and Athens and OSU. And I actually went on a tour to Kent and then, or no, Athens, my bad, yeah. and then came here. And I immediately decided that I wanted to go to school at Ashland because I like that the small town feel. It was similar to my hometown. Uh, Tiffin, Ohio, you know, they have similar populations and they're both college towns. So I really like the atmosphere and the feel and the look of the school. And then I also got to meet Dave, uh, the chair of the digital media journalism department, and he kind of gave me the sales pitch of uh, right. what we do here. And um, I, he talked to me for like three hours about everything you can do here. But I, I immediately liked the program and everything about Ashland, so I decided to come here. For sure. What have you been involved in, either within JDM or outside of the department at AU, that will impact your future? So <clears throat> you have the three medias here in the digital media journalism department. Uh, you have newspaper, radio, and television. And I've kind of dipped my toes into each of those three. I haven't done a ton of radio work uh, with WRDL, but most of my time has been spent with the collegiate newspaper writing and reporting. And I've done a lot for the TV, TV station AU TV 20 as well. So both of those experiences uh, are kind of going to, they're going to give me different routes to take moving forward in my career. I can take the general writing reporting route or the news reporting route. And um, those have really opened up a lot of, you know, areas of professional career development that I can follow later on. For sure. What has been your favorite part of the journalism and digital media department here? I would say with the TV station, I really like doing, uh, creating my own packages you know, going out in the field, going out into the Ashland community or the Ashland campus and learning something new and then transmitting that to our audience uh, through a package. And I like that because I get to record my own stuff, edit my own stuff, and also be on camera and talk to these people and interview them. So um, I guess in a way I, I, I'm just a control freak and I like doing <laughs> it all myself. Um, I, I've also had like some good cameramen that I've worked with uh, doing those packages. and. You just get to learn about like some interesting stuff doing that. So that's been my favorite part. Definitely. So last week, you and I co-anchored AUTV20's local election show. Would you like to talk a little bit about that experience and how that impacted you as a journalist? Yeah, that was definitely unique because it was my first ever live experience. And there's a lot of differences between, you know, uh, giving out the news live and in a pre-recorded setting. Um, there's a lot of planning involved, a lot of... Uh, a lot of like you know writing down what I'm gonna say, a rough edits and uh, drafts and stuff, and it was a good learning experience because obviously if when I go out to a professional career, if I'm working at a TV station, 90% of what I do is gonna be live, so it was good to get that one little practice and and kind of see what I'm gonna be doing in the future. I definitely agree. I know you've also had um, two different internships while you were here, so tell us a little bit more about that. Right. So I, I did my internships a little late. Um, I wish I would have started them earlier so I could do, you know, one more. Um, and the reason for that is I did two editorial internships and I, I didn't do one with a TV station. So the second half of my junior year, I did an internship with the Ashland Source mm -hmm. and I worked really closely with Tracy Liturgy downtown. And basically their whole spiel is that they do solutions journalism. And what that means is rather than just report on an issue, they also try and give solutions to that issue. So something I wrote about that was really interesting was I covered a junior council in Jeromesville. And rather than just explain what it, what it is, I talked with Randy Spade, who is, who's the mayor in Jeromesville and the, the leader of that group, and asked him to tell me about what the purpose is and what they're trying to fix. And what he told me is that they're trying to get more children involved in local government and politics because you, know, you don't see that that often. So that was a really great experience. And then this semester, I'm working with Babcox Media out of Akron. And that's kind of a different editorial role because it's business to business. Uh, so there's a marketing element involved. And it was really hard for me when I started because they're an automotive industry. Uh, Babcox Media is the company, but they own, I think, 15 different automotive media brands. Mm -hmm. 
and I work for Engine Builder, which covers high performance engine building across the US um, and across the world. And one of the series I write for, it's a weekly series called Engine of the Week. And basically what I have to do is just call different shops across the country and ask like, hey, do you have anything interesting you wanna show us? Like, I just recently did like a, a triple turbo 6.6 .6 liter <laughs> Cummins engine or something like that. And I never would have known what that was a couple months ago or how a crazy powerful diesel engine works. But that's become very interesting to me and it's um, just a result of like how through journalism you can learn and become an expert on something that you never would have thought you were before and that's really been a uh, interesting experience and useful experience for me. Definitely. So lastly, what are your plans for the future? So like I mentioned earlier, I've, I've gotten a lot of experience in written journalism and television journalism. So I'm keeping my options open, but I have had a few TV stations that reached out to me for a multimedia journalist and um, just general assignment reporter position. Um, there's been a station in Eugene, Oregon, uh, Fargo, North Dakota, and Clarksburg, West Virginia, and three others, but I can't, I can't remember exactly where they're from. Yeah. Um, I really like the place in Fargo, KVLY, uh, so that's my top choice. And if I decide I don't want to do TV because there's pros and cons for every uh, career route, I, I'd like to stay with my uh, internship at Babcock's Media and hopefully get some kind of editorial role there and uh, continue writing what I'm doing, but with you know some added responsibilities, obviously. For sure. Well, Evan, thank you so much for being here, and good luck with everything in the future. Thank you. That is it for this edition of The Eagle's Eye here on AUTV20. Be sure to follow us across all social media at AUTV20. I'm Lydia Bice. Thanks for watching.